Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom. So happy to have a new Zelda game out. Our last video was just kind of an intro to the game, so we're literally just starting to explore this world in today's video. No idea what the story's going to bring us or where we're going to go today. So we're going to get right into it and just start literally running around the overworld trying to figure this out. Hope you'll come along for the ride with us today. We seem to be on some sort of great island. I'm sure it's going to be like the Great Plateau from Breath of the Wild. We're going to have to do some shrines and some tutorial things and get all our powers uh, before it really lets us out too far into the world. Just kind of trying to collect anything I can because we literally have nothing but a broken sword. And I'm sure we're going to encounter some sort of resistance in here. Speaking of resistance, we already have an enemy. Okay, they're not too tough. They're a little bit stronger than a stick. We had to use two to kill it, but seems to be giving us lots of them, so we should be able to deal with any that we find along the way unless they get a little tougher. But I couldn't see that happening in the tutorial area. Can we climb this if we jump? Oh, our jump is weak. <laughs> We're not going to be jumping nowhere with that. Okay, this wooden bat is our best weapon for now. Okay, we can press and hold to throw weapons. It's been so long since I've played Breath of the Wild. I kind of played it when it came out at release and then put so many hours into it that I never really revisited it. Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. This is a Puripad. I'm told it's an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. I received it from Princess Zelda and passed it on to you. My records indicate that Zelda's waiting for you. We stand in the Garden of Time. And he wants us to go over here. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past for many rites and ceremonies. But no more. Now it's a lonely place. No one visits. Okay, hopefully that's going to open up our way to the Temple of Time. Okay, we have a quest marker saying find Princess Zelda. Oh, that's pretty cool. It built us a bridge. Yeah. 
So we can pick up and throw pots. Ah, some of the pots have apples in it. We're going to need those for healing. Hello, you seem to be new here. Do you intend to use that weapon against the soldier constructs? Soldiers are those of us given strict orders to get rid of trespassers. They'll consider you a trespasser. You must treat them as a serious threat. Okay, he's telling us about targeting. Cool. Yeah, this is kind of a tutorial area, it seems. But more importantly, I want to break these pots and see if they have more apples in them, because we might need them for healing as we fight. Alright, so how do we get down to the Temple of Time? Is it going to let me dive off here into some water? Ah, uh, but the water's off to the side, so if we jump straight off the edge, we die. Kind of rushing through the tutorial area. At least to the Temple of Time. Can do some exploring once it kind of gives us some of our powers back. Right now all I can really do is run around and pick up items. It's going to take this direction and avoid fighting those two robots. I roasted that. It's yours if you want it. Okay, so this guy teaches us how to cook. Roast ingredients by placing them near a fire. Uh, it improves the taste. Roasted ingredients enhance their nutritional value. Basically, we can cook items to combine them and make them stronger. Just like Breath of the Wild. Okay, we've made it to the Temple of Time, so let's climb up here and see what we can figure out since it was pointing us in this direction. There doesn't seem to be too much stopping us, aside from climbing a few walls. Okay, this one has a shield. He's going to be a little tougher to fight. Got to wait for him to drop his shield open and then hit him. Well, now we have a shield, at least. It's a good thing we picked up all those apples. We're going to need to heal now. Forgot how tough this game can be when you only have three hearts to start. Once we start getting some more, we'll be able to do some more complex combat, but at the start of the game, you're very vulnerable to anything.
that door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? The shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key. All right, we got to figure out how to get to the next shrine. Okay, so it kind of gives us a quest log of what our active quests are. I'm hoping this path will at least take us towards the first shrine. And it seems like even a small fall will cause pretty big damage so I don't want to fall off anything higher than what we just did or we'll probably die okay it seems like these stairs lead us up to the first shrine Okay, we definitely can't jump that, but I think if we climb on the wall, we can climb around the gap. Collecting mushrooms on our way, of course. So for now, I think, during the tutorial anyway, since we're already playing another game on the channel, I'll probably keep these to the normal video length. Uh, once this kind of becomes the only game I'm playing, I might do some longer videos. We'll see how this all goes. But we've made it to the first shrine, so let's see what we can do here.
Hmm. All right, we got our first power that's gonna allow us to move items. Kinda seems like the first shrine from Breath of the Wild where we have to move these pieces of metal to create bridges and get across areas. It's gonna take a moment to get used to these new controls though, especially since I haven't played this in so long. It's been a while since I've played my Switch at all actually. been playing so many different games on PC that we haven't been playing Switch on the channel. Okay, I think I'm going to drop all these pieces down into the gap and then try and use them to build some sort of bridge. I'm sure there's all sorts of ways to solve this puzzle, but I'm going to start by dropping everything down there. Well, not what I intended to do there, but like I said, I'm just going to throw everything down there for now. Okay, how do I rotate? Okay, I'm still figuring this out a little bit. Up and down, and then B to let go of it, I think. All right, there we go. Maybe not. I think if we do that again, but just jump at the end of it, we'll be able to clear that. It's the most jank bridge, but it works. Okay, so one more puzzle and then we'll be at the end of this. Just have to figure out how to clear this gap. It seems like we have a rail to ride, so let's figure out what we got to build here using this hook. So I think if we attach this to the board and then put it on that rail, we can ride it across. Just have to figure out how to maneuver this to get it in the way I want it to be. There we go, stick it to the board like that. So that way we can use the board as a platform to ride across. I wonder how many other different ways people have kind of solved this puzzle so far. I've been trying to go into this blind, so I haven't been watching anybody else's playthrough of this game yet. Oh, just slightly missed the rail there. But I think we got the right idea here. <laughs> it almost left without us. All right, we did it. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil.
I guess we collect those to upgrade our health and stamina. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Well, I think that's going to do it for this shrine. Okay, we restored an ability. You should be able to open the door of time once we complete two more shrines. So we can mark the shrines using our pad, that the pure pad that we collected. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for today's video. So I hope you'll come back and see our next Tears of the Kingdom video. Well, we'll be taking on the next shrine or two. Thanks for watching and bye for now.